Hey everyone, Lightcast here. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to set up your stream using Twitch. In order to do this, you need to have a Twitch account and access to an external media encoder. Links to that will be in the description below for Streamo's OBS, OBS Studio, or one we've actually done a video in the past on Adobe Media Live Encoder. And you can click the video for that in the description below as well if you're curious. All right, let's get started. Open up your browser, log into Twitch. And then once in Twitch, you want to make sure you click your account, your account by going to the top right corner, clicking your account settings, and then navigating down to your dashboard. Once in your dashboard, go down to the bottom and click your channel tab. All right, in your channel settings tab, you want to click your stream key, which is located at the top and copy that. Make sure no one else can see it. If you ever, you know, feel like it's compromised, you can also reset it. Just make sure no one else has it because they can actually access your stream if they have it. Uh, and then in your media encoder, for us it's Streamlabs OBS, just click your settings tab, go down to your stream tab settings, and then just paste in your key. And then make sure you have your server set up properly. Since OBS uh, Streamlabs is set up perfectly for Twitch, it should be automatically set to Twitch. And that should be it for that. There's a few other settings we want to tweak before we have everything set up properly, and we, things we want to teach you so you understand in the future. Uh, your latency optimization. This is important for if you want to have higher quality video or if you want to have more real-time interaction with the viewers. So people leave comments on your videos, but you might not see it, or you might see it on your page, but you might not be able to reply to it in video. So there's a bit of a lag between your interactions with your viewers. So having low latency is good for having more real-time interactions, uh, but it has less quality. And if you have normal latency set, it gives you higher quality, but again, you have that bit of lag. So we kind of like to keep it at low latency. It's better to have a little lower quality and have a more consistent interaction with your uh, audiences as well. Another important thing to have is to try to have a video banner icon, which is important for people to know when you're online or offline, and also a great way to let people know what kind of content they can look forward to in the future. In this case, I like to have a stream uh, schedule set up so people know what I'm I'm going to be making a video on in the future so they can be excited to watch me as well. Next thing is doing hosting. Hosting is really cool if you have people or streamers you like to follow that you want people to check out as well. It's a good way to give people shout outs, other people that you do streams with as well. I have a few people I, have a few people I like to host. Um, you don't have to host but it's a good way to just keep streaming when you're not streaming I suppose. Um, and then you can automatically raid people and um, allow raids, which is a great way for people to just jump onto your channel and, and give you a shout out there too. Um, and there's a, just a bunch of little options you can tweak here and there, but those are all the big ones. If you have any questions on setting up your Twitch stream, uh, leave them in the comments below. If you liked our video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more of this kind of content or would like to see more of our videos, please click subscribe and also click the notifications icon to stay up to date anytime we upload a new video. Until next time, this is Lightcast, and thanks for watching. Please also don't forget to check out our uh, Twitch channel and leave us a follow. Uh, we post uh, videos all the time. We love making content, which is a great way to you know, get to know us and some of the great stuff we get to make and interact with us uh, live when we play video games and stuff like that. All right, see you on the next one.